Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tebow Gaming here, and today I am bringing you episode two of Ter of my Let's Play Terraria series. Um, I think today I'm probably gonna build a house. I think I have plans for a house. Um, I'm gonna try to get a house and pumpkin armor. Uh, those are my two goals today. I have a plan for a house. It's minimal. It's one of the best houses you can get for storing NPCs. It doesn't look nice, but I'll fix it up later. Uh, I gathered some wood and stone off camera uh, to build this. I'm just going to make it out of wood with brick backgrounds because I really like brick backgrounds. That's my favorite type of background that I've come through so far. Uh, to make bricks, or gray bricks, I think you need a furnace. Anchor. Uh, so I'm gonna make one of those. Do I have? A, I know I need torches. I think that's it. Oh, and I got a magic mirror. That's good. Um, furnace. And boom. Okay, I should have everything I need. Yep. Uh, gray bricks. I'm gonna make a bunch of these. Uh, that's fine for now. And then gray brick walls. I, I think they look really good. I don't know what your guys' preference is. Uh, if you guys want me to change it in the future, uh, just leave a comment telling me what you guys like and if you guys don't like this. Uh, what else am I going to need? I'm going to need several wood platforms. I think I'm going to make five housing units for now. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna make some more torches because uh, I don't think I have enough torches yet. Do I? I have 26. That's probably gonna be enough. I need a flat place somewhere. Uh, I'm thinking right over here. Yeah, this is a good flat long place. Uh, in the beginning of the series of playing Terraria, it is really knock down trees. Uh, it takes a while. It takes couple seconds um... but anyway this unit i guess i'll call it unit you go one two three four wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm gonna do sixteen tall because i'm doing a house six tall underneath it that's just gonna be my stuff so i need to count out six and then count out ten uh, if you're just doing the unit, it needs to be ten tall. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was perfect. Wait, one second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three. I need to get up here. I can't get up there. Dang it. Uh, I saw this on a YouTube video. Uh, who was it? I think it was. Uh, huh. Hmm. But I don't remember who it was. Uh, I think it was Purple something. Uh, I'll tell you guys his name in the description. Let's see. Need one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, boom. That should be one. One, two, three, four. It needs to be four thick, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I do not like counting on this game and building in this game. It's kind of hard. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's four. I think I'm going to go with five. Oh, no, I think this one's too small. One, two, three, yep. Sorry about that. Now I often miscount. Um, that's four. And one, two, three, four, five. Boom! Um, I need to make a roof at six to- oops, slime. I don't think- yeah, so if this is a spear, I don't think I've showed a spear. They're- alright. I don't prefer them over anything, because I don't like them that much. 
but they're there, so. Oops. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. I keep jumping for some reason. Come up here. Take all this down. I don't understand why they have a pickaxe to destroy the wood, but they do. Hmm, I think that should be good. Is that it? Yep. Good. I boxed myself in, but that's okay. So, what you're gonna need... This is all you're gonna need. You're gonna need these four items to do this. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. Go four down, I believe. That's how I do it, anyway. Yep, that's right. And on the very last one, add this and this. And you're also going to need walls. I forgot walls. So it just fills up your hot bar. And boom. I think it looks pretty good with wood. I think it looks better than stone walls, which is what I usually use. Uh, I just like it a lot. It looks really good with stone, too. But I don't think I'm going to ever build out of stone. It's a little low class, I think. Um, last time, I just played with really one type of wood. I want to play with all of them. This time through. Uh, which is another reason I restarted. Uh, you need walls for a housing to count. And if you have walls... Uh, then enemies cannot spawn in it. Um, for a house to classify, for NPCs to live in, you need a chair, a table, a light source, walls, and uh, backgrounds, I guess. And uh, then you actually need walls, like blocks around it to form a cube or something. One of the material that you're using it makes four walls, so it kind of like cuts it in to fourths. Um, as you guys can see, I would like to settle down. That means pretty soon after I get this finished, he will move right in. And then, last but not least, yep, he's already moved in and I haven't even finished it yet. But that means he's occupying the whole place until, uh, now he's not What is he? Oh no! That's because I did something to it, I guess. Um, that's weird. He shouldn't be able to move in there. Uh, this kind of messed up. I think it's because I, it's not doesn't count anymore. I destroyed these two pieces of wood, but I'm hoping he'll move out of here if I do that. And that he should move out. Well, what is this madness? Okay, good. He moved out. I'm not gonna fill that in so he doesn't move in. I don't want him to move in. He can move in right here. When I'm done, not too high. Yeah. After I built the first one, I just go off that same way. Uh, it's a really easy way. It's pretty cheap. You can do whatever background you want. You can do. I don't know if you can do dirt backgrounds, but I think you can. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. Uh, you need a door, but um, these wooden platforms count as doors for some reason. I guess it's because you can jump through them and drop through them. Usually I add another torch, but I might not. Yeah, I guess I will. Uh, I don't know. I had quite a bit of wood, so I'm not sure how much wood you're going to need for this. Um, what I did on my uh, single player world, or my not YouTube world, I should say, not recording, not recorded world, I, uh, what did I do? I, uh, dug into the ground with wooden platforms and went underneath it all so I could trade with them and got and get e easy access to them. Uh, it worked pretty well. I would run under there during boss fights and heal up with the nurse. Uh, oh yeah. Yep. Always, always carry a pickaxe and a sword with you or a weapon with you. As you can see, you also always want it on your hotbar. Because it, it's annoying when you need to switch it out all the time. But I'm doing it so you guys can see all the stuff you need. Trying to, anyway. And that itself classifies, all this classifies as a house. Some people say it needs to be wider, uh, but it does not. It just needs to have all the requirements. And it, I don't think it can be underground. I tried, and I don't think it can be. 
Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'll probably test that again. Because I don't want to be wrong about that and give you guys false information if you guys want to make something underground. Which even if you do, you can have, I think, teleporters later in the game, which allow you to go back and forth. So you can have a bun ground. You can make it look like underground, too. Oh, and there's Molly and there's um, Merchant. To attract a merchant, what you need is money. Attract a nurse, you need hearts. To attract a guide, you don't need anything, I don't think. Um, oh yeah, to summon the underworld boss, you need to throw a voodoo doll of the guide into uh, the fire, or the lava, I should say. And as you guys can see, this is getting filled out just as I play, uh, make it. So it kind of stinks, especially if you have a lot of stuff. And uh, by the time you're done, you didn't get the guy you won because you had to put something more in there for it to work. And bada bing, bada boom. Uh, everybody already moved in. You have to build more. And it kind of that happened to me when I was trying to get a bomb. But I got it eventually. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I am. Oh, made that too big. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to start fighting the bosses, pretty soon here, but I need to get a lot more materials. Today was focused on building and really not getting materials, so that's why I'm still pretty poor. Uh, one thing that does stink, if you're on uh, iPhone or Android and uh, you ooh, okay. uh, and you log, if you get out of the game, close the game, um, you spawn back in your spawn points, unless, instead of like you were in a cave system or something, or like you were in a place really far away with the boss, uh, and you thought it would pause, it won't. It kind of stinks. So you have to kill that boss then. Which I found quite annoying in my time playing this game. It's happened to me quite a bit. Uh, it's never fun. I really dislike it when it happens. I get pretty upset. Especially when I, like the first time I was fighting Eater of Worlds, bada bing bada boom, I left, had to do something, and, yeah, not good. Uh, and if you die, you drop all your money, not all of it, you drop the better part of your money. So if you had, uh, five, if you had five gold coins, it would drop three gold coins and you would have two gold coins left. Um, yeah, in the beginning, oh crap, uh, zombies are really annoying, oh, I hate them so much. As you get, my head was removed by a zombie, it always does something, uh, different, except it will call you pr plural for some reason, I don't know why that is, but I kind of find it funny when it said my organs were, Tebow's there, their, Tebow's their organs were ripped out by a, Read of worlds or something like that. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't really care if they fix it. It's not a huge thing that needs to be fixed, like some other stuff, like uh, your game. Sometimes, if you don't, some something will mess up and it'll crash a lot, which I find quite annoying, uh, especially when it happens a lot. And let's see, what else do I need? This room, sh these two rooms should be good, but I'm not really holding anything that should attract any of the other ones any of them, that's why they're not moved in yet. I need a I'm actually gonna run away from this and try to get some punk armor before he attacks me. Uh, I'll probably get two pieces. Cause it's quite a bit of pumpkins to get the whole thing, but I might have enough. How much do I got? Forty two, that is not enough. Unless I have more in the chest. Which I do. I don't think this is enough, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I don't think it is. Boom. Boom. Yeah, it's not. I uh, need 20 more. How many do I have? Seven. I'm three short. That kind of stinks. But I look pretty cool, I think, with just this. But let's go and see if we can't find any more pumpkins. Oh, here are some is. I just need three, and it's probably going to give me two. Oh, five. That was small to give me five. Hello, friend. You can just jump over them pretty easily. Uh, before, I think third time... Second time, th that third time, in my uh, normal 
single player non-recording world. I fought I have Cthulhu, I dodged it so much and I never dodged before. I just sat there and threw a bunch of throwing knives at it. That's what I usually did, but dodging is really helpful. Oh, let's see, and the helmet, and boom. Sudden defense, not bad. Um, do I have any ores, actually? I kind of don't want to face this guy. Uh, unless I can make a better sword, which I think I can. If I pause by doing this, which is kind of cool, you can pause doing this. Uh, in a lot of games, you won't, which I find will kill you. I've had it happen a lot. Uh, need to make a lead anvil. And... Go over here to my home. I don't want to build over there anymore. I want to stay in the home. I think it's near to spawn too, but I'm not certain about that. Uh, your first sword upgrade usually is big. It's six damage difference. And I probably should have been using my so uh, spear to fight those guys anyway. But I forgot about it, kind of, so it's a whole lot easier. Um, I'm probably going to do fishing next episode. Uh, if I can catch, uh, some bait today. Do I have a gold? Yes, I have two gold. How did I get that two gold? Uh, I forgot to, um, talk to this merchant. And from him, you can buy a bug net for one gold. Not very expensive. In the beginning, you might think it's really expensive, but it's really not. Buy that. And, uh, what it does is... Uh, it catches bugs and like uh, what else does it catch? It catches bunnies, which you can't fish with, of course. Uh, it catches cardinals, you can, yeah, which are birds. Doesn't catch any aggressive mobs, which I think it'd be pretty cool if it did, but I understand why it didn't, because then you could just abuse it and uh, catch a bunch of slimes and not have to worry about slimes or zombies or whatever. Even though when you get decently far, uh, it's you don't really care about zombies and slimes, you just walk right through them if you're singing your weapon. I'm gonna get a reinforced fishing pole for next time, I'm not gonna go fishing or anything, but what do I need? How much do I have, actually? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and waste my iron on two iron doors, because it looks better. Uh, don't, I don't recommend doing it, because it's kind of useless, unless it's a uh, blood moon, which then they can open, do uh, zombies can open doors. I'm not sure if they can still open, uh, Iron doors, but I don't think they can. Yeah, he sells two potions, and if you combine these, it makes a restoration potion. Uh, which... I only have one recipe unlocked. Which is a lesser healing potion. Uh, when you do the bottled water, you get a whole lot more potions unlocked. And when you get a special flower. In a little bit. Um... I kind of think the guide should sell some stuff, like, uh, maybe some, like, beginning weapons or something, or beginning tools, or maybe wood. Except if you have a bunch of money, you can just buy a bunch of blind, uh, blocks, is the thing, is why they probably don't do that. Uh, speaking of that, I need to make a hammer to clean up. Uh, hammer is what breaks walls. Some hammers you get later do a lot of damage, this one does too, uh, so it's not anything that you use as a weapon. Uh, usually, you if you have a tall house like this, you add these to the side, easy climb up. Uh, so you can get on top of the roof. What did I just do? Oh, bro broke the torch. Oops. Oop. And it looks like I reshaped this wall. Kind of stinks, because it might take me a while to find uh, the one that I need. I really don't like working with angles. But if you guys want me to, I will try. Oh, slime. Didn't think that could get up to me, but apparently I was wrong. Um. Let's see, I'm gonna get this. Ooh, I don't know why I can't get it for some reason, it seems like. Let's try to get it. Let's try to get it. No, it's like reshaping it. That's a really weird. I think I need to get it right here. Remember? Yeah, there we go. Now I need to put this back. Oh, it's not working. That's not good. I don't know why that's not working. 
That shouldn't work. That should work, I don't understand. But, anyway. Uh, anyway. I'm oh, sorry, my computer just turned off and I had to make sure it's still working, which would have been bad if it wasn't. Uh, that's happened to me before, and it stinks. Oops. Uh, stupid slimes. It'd be worse if there worse if there were zombies here. I would not be happy if there were zombies here. And done. Should fix this, and it should be done. Great. I think it's this one. Yep. And place the torch down. Well, that's complete. I got all the buildings. I got my pumpkin armor. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. 